This is lesson 15 one, and the focus is how do you classify polygons? You know how to draw and name lines, line segments, and angles. Today you're going to learn how to draw and classify polygons. I want you to look around the room you're in right now, and I want you to look around and see how many different shapes you can identify in the room. Go ahead and pause for a moment to see how many shapes you can find. Hopefully you're able to find many different shapes. Next, if you have a couple straws that you could use to cut into different lengths, so you're going to cut those straws up, you want to have at least eight pieces um, of straw, again, all different lengths if possible. If you don't have straws, you can just draw lines of different shapes, of different lengths rather. And remember, you want to make, you want to use up to, up to eight lines. You do not have to use every straw or every line in every shape. But the goal here is Suppose the sticks or the lines are the sides of a play area for a dog. Make as many different shapes as you can to create a closed play area. So it must be a closed play area. You don't have to use every straw every time or every line every time, but make as many different shapes as you can and try to label each one. Go ahead and do that now. Please pause. So here are some of the different shapes you might have come up with. Compare this list with yours. So here are some of the shapes you might have come up with. Remember, the prefixes of each of these the names of the shapes tells you how many sides that shape has. So again, a triangle has three sides because of tri. Quadrilateral, four-sided. Quad, remember, quadrilateral is not just a square or rectangle. It's any four-sided uh, polygon. Pentagon, five-sided. Hexagon, six-sided. And octagon, eight-sided. Now next, I want you to think about how are these shapes alike? Go ahead and pause and think about all the different ways these shapes are all alike. Hopefully you thought about some of the following. First, they are all made up of straight line segments. There are no curved lines, so they must have straight lines. Second, two line segments intersect only at an end point. So every line comes together at an end point, at a vertex, if you will. And the last thing is that all the shapes are closed. There are no open shapes here. So that's how they're all alike. Now I want you to think about how are all these shapes different. Go ahead and pause for a moment and think about how they are all different. The two main ways they are different is that each has a different number of sides and each has a different number of angles. Next, let's try to identify whether the next shapes that I draw are polygons or are they not polygons. How about this first shape? Is this a polygon? Of course the answer would be no because it is not a closed shape. How about this next shape? Again the answer is going to be no because this time we have a curved line. Polygons must have straight line segments. And this last one. Again, not a polygon due to the crossing lines. They must meet at an end point. The last thing we need to discuss is the term regular polygon. So now we know what a polygon is and what a polygon is not. So what is a regular polygon? A regular polygon has sides that are all of equal length and therefore the angles are all going to have equal measures. That's what makes a polygon a regular polygon. And again, it could be a triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, etc. But they all have to have the sides of the same length and angles of equal measures. So to recap, we classify polygons, which means we group them. We group them by the number of sides, and polygons must be closed, they must have straight lines, and the lines cannot cross. Next, you're going to watch the visual learning video on the Pearson website.